Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do something amazing, something awesome. We have a new project that we will be creating and it will be chat gpt plus drone so the idea is to embed robotics with chat gpt or any ai to perform actions so ai models they can give you text prompts they can give you images but uh, to really take advantage of them we need to give them some ability to perform some actions so that is what we are going to do uh, in this project so the idea will be that we will have our drone and then we will have our chat gpt or any ai model and we can talk to the ai model and based on what we need it will perform some actual actions on the drone so uh, this idea came from uh, this article from microsoft where they embedded robotics with chat gpt so here they have the article chat GPT for robotics, design principles and model abilities. So they have shown some of the examples of drones, of uh, robot arms, how exactly do they move. They have a video of that as well, that they are interacting with the drone or they are interacting with the AI and the AI is sending the commands to the drone. But how exactly does it work? So if you go through this article, it's quite good. Uh, you should definitely read this out now what we will do is we will take our own approach and we are going to get some inspiration from this as well and we are going to write down uh, 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 we are going to create a complete project that will have all the essence of this now uh, talking about AI and drones and robotics we have currently uh, our course we are launching AI drone programming with Python this is first of its kind course that will embed AI with drone programming and it will teach you how you can uh, get it up and running so uh, only five days are left and this is available on 30% off at this po uh, at this moment so if you are interested in drone programming then this is the way to go we will be using the Tello drone which is very easily available and it's very cheap we will be creating projects like traffic surveillance, obstacle course. So you can see here the drone is moving through these courses and these are not hard coded uh, placements. So you can place them anywhere and it will still find it and it will go through that. As you can see here, it finds the location, it corrects its path and then it moves through that. Uh, we will also have fire and rescue it will detect fire and it will go to that position and then we will also learn how to work um, or how to create a drone show while running these in parallel so how can we do that so if you are interested in this then make sure you purchase before uh, 26th i believe yeah 26th of april which is friday we, uh, on which the kickstarter campaign will end so if you are interested this is the way to go okay so what are we doing today we will discuss what exactly is our project and how we will proceed uh, what we will do is we will do it in steps so that it's easy for you to follow so uh, i'm here in excel draw uh, i don't know how to pronounce the name of this software but i really enjoy this so what we will write here is we will write chat uh, gpt plus drone so this is the name of our project and we will make it a little bit bigger. So that's the name of our project. Now we could use other models because ChatGPT is paid to even to use the API it's paid. So we have other models where we have Gemini, where we have uh, hugging face models. So we could use those as well. So we will look into that whether we want to use ChatGPT or not. So what exactly is the idea? Now. What I've done is I've broken this down into four steps. Now, the very first step is going to be, uh, we are going to get the text, uh, speech to text. So what does, what does that mean? It means we are going to convert speech to text. So that will be our first part uh, that we will be doing. And uh, let me get a mic here. So let's search for a mic PNG and let's just drag and drop and if we let's see if it works so if we drag that in 
no, it didn't work. <laughs> so we need uh, another image, any image. Uh, okay, let's say with a white background. Okay, so the idea is that we are doing speech to text. So whatever we will speak, we are speaking to an AI model. So first of all, we need to convert the audio into text. That is our step number one. So we will write here, this is step number one. There you go, this is step number one. Now, what is the second step? The second step, uh, I didn't copy that. Let's, let's copy this, still didn't copy. Okay, no problem, we'll copy it like this. And we will write here two. So what is the second part? Now, the second part, once we have the text, we need to send it to our AI model. So uh, we will call it, let's say, AI inference. So AI inference will be where we send our uh, text to our model, whether it be ChatGPT, whether it be Gemini. And let's, let's go ahead and discuss these as well. But for now, what I will do is I will put an image because that's what I like to do. And there we go. So we are sending it to an AI model. So we are putting an image of that. Now, what options do we have? Let's discuss that a little bit. So uh, let's put it here. And we will say that these are the options uh, that we will be having. So the first option we have is ChatGPT. Chat, chat, GPT. So that is our first option. Uh, then we also have Gemini. Gemini. Probably the spellings are wrong, but we'll move on. <laughs> and then we will have, let's say, Mixtral or let's say Hugging Face. Uh, hugging Face. So Hugging Face has these models that you can use free. They have their API inference, so you can call it and you can get the response. But these models, they are not as good as ChatGPT or Gemini. And we also have a Copilot, GitHub, uh, not GitHub. We have from Microsoft, we have uh, Copilot. Uh, we also have other models, but we are not going to go into that much detail. So discussing a few of these models, ChatGPT is paid. So but it is quite good, right? It is one of the best ones, or you can argue that it is the best one right now, especially ChatGPT4. So you can actually use this. Now, if you have the paid version, so then definitely go for that. Now, um, or if you have the API, you have linked it to your credit card, then you can pay for it, then that's a good option. But the second one here is the Gemini, and I think most of us should use Gemini because it is free to use. Uh, it does have a limitation of how many calls you can do per per minute, but I think that is better. So if we search for Gemini API, let's let's see what exactly is their pricing so that we can get a better understanding of should you use it or not. So here we have uh, the Gemini pricing so this is 1.5 pro and here you can see these are the rate limits so this is free of charge uh, to our uh, two rpm requests per minute so you can do two requests per minute and the token size per minute is 32000 which is decent and requests per day is 50 so i think if we are just getting started this is fine. Uh, two requests per minute might be low if you are uh, doing some uh, rapid prototyping, then it might be a little bit low, but we can adjust to that. Mm -hmm. Rather than paying for it, I think this is a better option so that everyone can use it, right? So uh, we will keep on with the free version. And with Hugging Face, you also have the option of Hugging Face. So if we go to that, there you go. If we go to that, we can click on uh, text generation. So natural language, where is text generation? There you go. 
So we have text generation models. So here you have Llama 3, uh, Llama 3B uh, instruct, A to B instruct, and then you have other models, uh, Mixtral as well. So it's up to you. So for example, if we click on this and we go to deploy, you have inference API option. So if you have that, oh, they don't, it changed. <laughs> so if you have that, it means you can use. Uh, if you don't have that, then you can try out a different model. So if they have, then it will be easier for us to use. So Meta Llama 3, click on deploy. There you go. So this one, it has the option of uh, using an API inference. So again, it will be free. And they didn't actually mention how many um, requests you can do per minute or per day but hopefully it will work out well. But it can be a little bit unpredictable because it is free to use and they didn't actually mention how much can you use and what's going on. So it might be uh, a bit vague. So I think we should go with Gemini. Now, if you want to go with other models, you can do that too. Okay, that being said, uh, let's go back. We have these options. Uh, we can use these. Then uh, what is the next step? We are going to use Gemini, so let me highlight that. So we are going to use, oh, not this, my bad. Uh, let's use this and we will make it pink. So we will be using Gemini. Again, you can use whatever you like. So then we are going to go ahead and copy this again. And our Third step, oh, I wanted to copy, I deleted. Uh, this is the third step. The third step is prompt engineering. So let's say prompt. So this is the most crucial step because if your prompt is not right, you will not get the desired results. So you need to make sure your prompts are correct and that way you will be able to get some good results. So here, we are going to remove this and let me see what image do we get if you write prompt. So as you know, prompt engineering is very important. So let me copy this. And we are going to paste it here. There you go. This is the image that I got. So again, the third part will be prompt where we will decide what exactly do we need to tell the AI model and how exactly will it give us the response. So the idea here is that uh, we will test this first. Now, the reason I've put here uh, the AI inference as second part is because we want to test it first, whether it works or not because that is the second part. And then in the third part, we are going to change the prompt and then we will again refer to the second part. So uh, it might be a little bit confusing, but once we start coding, it will be easier for you to understand. So that being said, what exactly is our fourth part? Our fourth part uh, is basically actions. So, once we have our model running that is giving us an output, from that output, we need to decide what actions to take. We need to fly the drone, we need to move forward, or we need to flip the drone, or what exactly do we need? So maybe it's not safe, we need to land the drone, so it's things like that. So we will be uh, discussing what exactly uh, do we do here. Let me put an image for actions. So I think this is a good image. There you go. Action, there you go. So these are the four steps that we will be taking or that we will be doing when we create our chat GPT plus drone. So in part one, we will be doing speech to text. Part two, we will be using uh, inference with Gemini. In part three, we will be creating a very specific recipe, a very specific prompt that will be the essence of this complete project. And from there, we will 
link it to our drone to perform some actions. So it will be a lot of fun and at the end of it, we should have our drone running or maybe we will face some issues. So I haven't tried it out yet. So we will try it together so that we can see what results do we get. Are we able to achieve this or not? Uh, that is all to be decided later on. So this is it for today. And uh, what I will do is I will start with, uh, in the next video, I will start with speech to text. We will go step by step and we will write the code so that you understand what exactly uh, are we doing and it is easy for everyone to follow. Now, don't forget our Kickstarter campaign is still live, only five days to go. And if you want to back the project, you are going to get access at a much lower cost than what you will do after the Kickstarter. So this is AI plus drone programming, which is a lot of uh, fun and very useful in the upcoming years. So this is it for today's video. I hope you have learned something new. I hope you are excited for the project that we will be doing together and we will do it in parts so that it's easy for everyone to follow. So this is it for today and I will see you in the next one.